Good morning. It is Founders Day here in Foxborough. Welcome to the 36th Founders Day. The story as we know it is firmly rooted in tradition. It is the successor to both Fireman's Field Days, a previous incarnation of Founders Day, and a celebration that occurred after the soldier on the top of the Memorial Hall, across from our booth, was returned to its proper place in 1987. The Founders Day Committee was subsequently formed, and the modern first Founders Day celebration was held in 1988 and has continued ever since. 36 to, years, in fact. Yes, thank you to Jack Offalette for that historical note. My name is Kevin Penders. I am joined alongside by Netta Jury Penders, and we get the privilege and pleasure to bring you this 36th <laughs> Founders Day parade. Happy Founders Day, everybody. Happy Founders Day. Thank you for watching. And thank you for joining us. Yeah, this is awesome. It's going to be great. And thank you to Foxborough Cable Access and to the Foxborough Founders Day C Committee for bringing this live and for bringing you a full slate of Founders Day events, which we will be talking about throughout the course of this parade. Great. We kick off, as always. <laughs> quietly. With, yeah, quietly. We make this a big is the quiet part of the parade. Well, that's us. Yes, we're <laughs> the quiet part of the parade. It will be followed up by the local law enforcement portion of the show. Um, fireworks banners here in front of us coming into the, into the rotary as we get going. They're the announcement to let you know how we cap off this fabulous and very special local town event. Fireworks tonight at nine o'clock down on the Booth Playground. Uh, so get in there early and take advantage of all that Foxborough Founders Day has. And shortly, I think we're gonna get muted, Kevin, as they turn to well, that didn't take long. the actual <laughs> fire trucks and um, police sirens, because otherwise that might be a little loud for the so, viewers. So we're going to have the local police departments from the area neighborhoods coming through here, different communities, as well as fire departments as well. And we might even have in the fire department trucks some special guests oh. who we will tell you about when you can hear us. So very exciting day. That's exciting. Here, here comes the rocket. Okay, so you might see these rockets around town, Kevin, and it's for loose change and donations. Okay, that sounds great. Yep, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to mute here so that you can Thanks, all everyone. enjoy the show. We'll be back in a minute.
Okay, and that was exciting. Just like that, it's the <laughs> dentist's favorite day, Foxborough Founders Day, as all of the <laughs> local area police and fire departments and town DPWs come together to celebrate this event. Um,
trucks and, 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 and crews in from Norfolk County Sheriff's Department, Foxborough, of course, Willimantic, Sharon, the uh, Massachusetts Fire Control, uh, Mansfield, Norwood, uh, Norwood, Norfolk, Danvers, Walpole, and Rehoboth that I saw. It was so and exciting to see all the little kids, like really, you know, once a kid, always a kid, I guess, Kevin. Everyone was excited to see all those fire trucks I, I, and sirens. and. <laughs> it's that it's that really healthy mix of squeezing right. your ears shut That's and waving. Right. Yeah. I'm so glad I have had, had a headset on there today. So I feel that way in most of my conversations with you. Oh, that's, that's good. funny. Yeah. I, so, uh, and one of those fire trucks, Kev, had some uh, special guests. It, it really sure made did. a lot of the kids and adults actually go crazy. It was really fun to watch. Really fantastic to see. react. Yep, as the, the Patriots were on one of the Foxboro fire trucks. Uh, joining us today for Founders Day were Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, Scotty Washington, Calvin Munson, Cole Strange, and then I understand inside one of the, one of the trucks was uh, Foxboro's captain, Dave Andrews. And That's right, and Kevin, just for a minute, an un unnoticed, we unsolicited have a, we guest. Have a, a guest coming fabulous. to uh, Hi, Pam Founders Sawin. Day, um, bringing us some strawberry oh, shortcake here. Let's put it up on camera and show it the, off. This is Pam Sawin from the Bethany Church, who is bringing us some uh, strawberry shortcake that is going to be uh, <laughs> so down Be at the booth. This is down at the booth. This is down at the booth. Strawberry shortcake to benefit Bethany Congregational Church okay. and our missions. And I brought two spoons so you can share. So, Thank so you Pam so says much. I have to share. Thank you so, so much. If, if you didn't catch it, because we didn't put Pam on a headset because she's wearing her Fox Pro straw hat. beautiful hat. I love your little um, Founders Day hat. So it's down on the booth playground. Yep. The Bethany Ch Church has uh, its tent set up for the traditional strawberry shortcake, which they are do using to raise f funds for all of their missions. Yeah, no, that's, and that's the, the best the part of Founders Day. It is, are they $5? Seven. dollars Yes. Seven dollars. Okay. But we get one. Okay. Yours is seven. Mine is free. Okay. Thank that's you so much. Have a great parade. Have a great day. Thanks, Pam. You too. And actually, Kevin, it's a great segue because Foxborough Founders Day is really when all of the town's nonprofits come together and are able to raise money for their various missions. You're doing a great job. Um, Keep I going. Think I'm the just going to. I'm just, just going to the, the cake. This. Yep. So it's the second Saturday of June each year. With um, all of the the field has all the abilities for the nonprofits in town to be able to to offer goods and services or games to support their mission. Colors are coming through here for us now. Oh, the color guard is coming through, yep. right? We, we saw the DPW come through. We did. And the school bus, Department of Transportation, they do such an amazing job getting our kids to and from school um, on time. Now, whether our kids are actually on time for the bus is another story. It's entirely the different story. The buses are always on time. Let me tell you, I, I, love, I love the fact that they the showed up and this is your is turn yummy. to talk. <laughs> so here come our board of selectmen and our school committee. Members, I see Sarah Ladani. Our new town I managers see, here, John Cordy. Uh, Seth Ferguson. I see Selectman Elfman. I see our new um, our school new school committee, committee yep. member, Michelle Thaxton. Welcome to all of them. Happy Founders Day. Again, the, the dentist's favorite day in Foxborough. Candy sales at an all-time high. Uh, Stephanie McGowan Stephanie is there McGowan too. I see too. her coming through. Oh, Representative Jay Barrows is coming through, oh. shaking hands with the police chief. Yeah, there's my saying hello, my happy chief, my Grace. Day to him. Oh, now he's going to stop traffic because nope. this is what you know. We're going to start talking. They're going to keep doing what they do keep best. Going. They're just the opening <laughs> act for the other opening How act. You? How are you? Fox oh, Pros. we got a nice shout out there. Did you see? I, uh, you did. Yes, you did. That was very well, that's lovely. That's because you're eating strawberry shortcake. Uh, well, so I can't I got help the wave it. From, uh, Representative I'm Barrett. just doing quality control. And here comes. The Foxboro High School Marching Band, led by Aaron Bush and also Jaden Fobb here. They are marching with us, beautiful in formation, including seniors coming back, which I think is really special. Even some of these kids have graduated and they're still marching. We see very familiar faces in here, drum lines. I think that's really speaks to the, um, the music program. Coming that along you have seniors who have graduated Coming along coming with Donnie Albro at the for, back end of, of the band there. Founders Day. And right after them is Boy Scout Troop 32 here in Foxborough. One oh. of the things they are most <laughs> famous for on Founders Day are the French fries. <laughs> so get on down to the Booth Playground where they will be selling French fries for you. And joining them are the Cub Scout Troop that comes along with them in behind them. And then after that is going to be 
I think pulling up now are the Foxborough High School class of 73 celebrating their 50th year reunion. Oh, that's exciting. It is exciting. Here they come, class of 73. Yep. I was born in 73. You, yes. Oh, dear. Yes, you were. That means that I'm going to be 50 this year. That's a problem. Well, we'll get you a float. That'll be a perfect solution to that. Perfect solution to that. So good for them. Let's see. Richard Nixon was the oh, president. I love that. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree okay. was the best song. The Sting was the best movie. You well, love I that. agree with that. Still is. Uh, here comes Rick and Sam's stock cars. There's a 2003 Volkswagen Bug and a 1971 Volkswagen Bug as well. So I think the 2003 is a facade, <laughs> but so be it. And following oh, up behind the them, AJT for a small car it makes a, a lot of noise. A big sponsor for Founders Day, AJT supplies for your firewood, your mulch, your um, paving, your paving, your yard supplies. They are your local go-to, and they are here in big fashion. Look, Fred Flintstone with them. Oh, I mulch, see him. loam, That's stone, and firewood. And have a yabba Visit us. Good time. You have a yabba oh. dabba good time. And somebody dressed up as a pink creature over it's there. A, I think that's a pink flamingo. I don't know. Oh, I didn't know they had bouncy rentals too. That's they have bouncy great. rentals also. They do. Yes, they do. So, oh, we have a little window, we Kevin, do. of quiet. All the sirens are well, going not, around the common. Uh, right, they're coming back around the other side. And incoming is going to be the Bay Coast Bank. So they also have their shuttle with them. Um, and they actually wrote us a little copy, which oh. is great. So they take pride in supporting and reinvesting in communities and neighbors through charitable giving and volunteerism. Okay. And a strong focus for this bank is actually education. So get on the bus, which is why they have their shuttle oh, bus here. I see. Um, this Clever. is their initiative to um, endeavor to make education a top priority in southern New England and providing meaningful financial liter literacy programs to learners of all ages. I so that's terrific, especially around this time of graduation when all the kids will get all their gifts and think it's going to be uh, spent on candy. Well, they don't have to spend <laughs> it on candy. Candy's free candy today. Candy is free today. It's that's everywhere. Right. <laughs> so, it's everywhere. And actually, that's one of the ways that uh, the town gets their streets cleaned on the annual <laughs> basis because all these kids are, like, diving yeah, into the street. Right. The big thing, you know, years ago when our kids were younger, the big thing was uh, when you were marching in the parade to try to remind them to pace it. That's right. Because That's you right. turn the corner here, you still have half a parade right. to go. That's and right. you're running out of candy. And people forget that right outside Wall Street is actually the best place to go because everyone is so excited to throw their candy. They just start yamming it with handfuls out of the, so, the buckets. So this might be... Um, this is Foxbury Rotary Club this, here. There it is. Yes, it here is. Here they come. Thank and you. they're thrilled to participate in the 2022 Founders Day. And they're giving away hot dogs on the field. They actually sponsored the first Foxborough Peach Day on the Common. They're a service organization supporting local, community, and international causes, and they're committed to diversity, equity, inclusion, and promoting Foxborough as a welcoming place for all. And did you know they actually have a chapter at the high school called Interact Club? It's a, yeah, it's a it's sort of a junior rotary. That's right. Group. It allows That's right. sort of a dovetail between the students and the the rot Rotarians, which is great. So in, in Interlooper here, we have a little oh. announcement for the uh, Foxborough JC's car show, JC's car show right. coming up on June 25th. That's right. So that's a great event uh, put on by the JC's. So the JC's and tucked in right here. The JC's did tuck in ahead of the mariachi van. Oh, with ponies so and a puppy. It's like the best. Active in the community since 1961, the JC's are a dynamic, enthusiastic volunteer organization dedicated to enhancing quality of life through the community and community development projects while growing the skills of their members and providing an opportunity to make lifelong friendships. And they are pros at the candy thing. Look here, uh, their right. entire wagon is candy. And so they provide civic service through organized efforts like the Concerts on the Common and sponsorship through things like this event here today and promote the welfare of Foxborough through active, constru active construction projects. Perfect. And the car show, as we just talked about. Hopefully, and the Mexican Lindo Mariachi Band joining us for the second year in a row be here. is the Mexico Lindo Mariachi Band. They oh, are they didn't play. Right on oh, through, here we which go. is too Maybe. bad because they're awesome. They're about to start. Here come the Girl Scouts, Kevin. Here come the Girl Scouts, Neda. And their theme this year is Cookie Monster Girl Scouts. There it is, that Cookie Monster's said, Garden. Why aren't they throwing cookies? I know. 
Hi, One of the, the first... The cookies would go great with the strawberry shortcake. This float was designed by the first grade through sixth grade girls, includes okay. the Cookie Monster dressed up as Girl Scout, Big Rainbow. They've been marching. This is the 111th anniversary of the Girl Scouts, um, which was founded in Savannah, Georgia in 1912. They do so much work in Foxborough. We're delighted to have them here today at the parade. And coming in right behind them is the Tony Barry Band. Established in 1949, it's been marching around New England ever since. The band was run by its founder, Tony, for over 70 years. Until he was 101, Netta. Wow, did you see that trumpeter actually just was going by and waving? Not only was she playing the trumpet, she was actually waving to the crowd. I feel like that's pretty good talent right there. And the band continues to honor Tony's memory by continuing to march under his name that's here awesome. today. That's awesome, love it. Very fortunate to have them here on site. Following up behind the Tony Barry Band, as we come now to the New England Antique Trucks and Tractors. The New England Antique Trucks and Tractor Association is a nonprofit organization for people with an interest in antique tractors and truck and farm equipment. They are here today in memory of their member and longtime resident, Paul Dean, who passed in 1920. They've come from all over the area, including Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, New York, and we're happy to have them. Do you think maybe they'll come to our house and uh, rototill the, uh, the yard over there? What do you think, Kevin? Here they come. What's that, Netta? I'm sorry. I was, I was just going to say, I, I was talking to our to next our, guest. I wonder if they'd up. come to our yard and help us. Uh, they, it really you know, would help if they came to our, our yard. Lawn. Our yard's not big enough. But, <laughs> I um, think I could have this little tractor right here. I think it would look, it's I think super it would look cool. good on you. Look, she's got a little, little um, like sidekick right here. It's got a like, little sidekick spot. So, so we're, we've, got, uh, we've got a little bit of Founders Day Committee coordination happening right here also. Um, and so we're gonna come back to our special guest in a minute when he has time. That's fine. He's got he's got events going on. Scott O'Donnell, the chair of Founders Day, was here, but called into action. Action. That's right. And that's how it rolls. Well, no, and I think that that's part of the the flexibility of Founders Day. You know, people will come in. Um, there are so many moving pieces, and we see behind the scenes this entire day is really put on by a team of 15 volunteers. It's amazing when you what see they do how impressive this day is and the coordination that happens. It takes about a year of planning. So here he comes back. So let's take the opportunity to have a conversation with the chairman. Definitely. Scott, let me know if you can hear us. Great. So we are joined by Scott O'Donnell. He is the president chair, uh, chairman, yeah. chief poobah of <laughs> yeah. Founders Day. Well, we get a lot of help, but. Scott, thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here today. This is such a fabulous day here. Well, let's not have the kids get squished and by the horses. The, no, don't, no squishing. So any uh, highlights you'd like to tell us about? We can't thank you enough for all that you've done to put this on. Oh, well, you guys seen half, half of it. Here and, uh, comes yeah. the library float. I'm so sorry, sorry we have Scott. to pause That's you fine. for one second. <laughs> Most importantly, here comes the Friends of Boyden Library. Friends of Boyden Library. We see our friends over here. Christine Betsy Igo Buckland, Freeman, Jennifer Huston. Christine Igo Freeman, lots Emma of friends Brelsford, there. Emma Brelsford, the new children's librarian. <laughs> Betsy <laughs> Buckland, retired librarian, member of the Friends. We are very fortunate to have all their support. And the and Lions the Club Lions going Club. by. Yep. So, They're dating back to the 30s, 1931. OK, so, so go for Scott, it. Scott, tell us, tell <laughs> us what, what highlights do you want to flag for us here on uh, during the parade, and uh, how's, how's it going coordination-wise? Everything going on? Right? Oh, everything went smoothly. The weather's been great. We get a great group of people that help out, uh, both at the field and, and at the parade. We're very lucky to have good sponsorship, uh, great volunteers, and the townspeople came out as usual. So, uh, yeah, we have a Sherman tank. You saw the Patriots go by. I saw Mac Jones up there. Um, a lot of great features at the uh, at the field. You know, we get the, the lobster rolls and the strawberry shortcakes. I know, Kevin uh, a bunch already, of bounties and how you already got down there. Kevin Listen, already nice started. Work. It's all about connections. It's yeah. all about connections. It's good, it's good to know people. But, um, <laughs> I love and, how the yeah. Lions Club are dressed up as lions. That's wonderful. So great. And we have uh, the clouds clearing out for the, for the best fireworks in the area, as you know. So That's right. And, and, the, the, and the floats are coming around. Now, I know you're a, part, you're a part of the cultural council that put together that event as well. The, uh, the Fox uh, event is really the fo Fox, uh, Fox of Borough uh, art. Um, component so is really goes fabulous. The Igo School, oh yeah, Kevin. the cultural, uh, the cultural, cultural, Com cultural council. council. Yeah, the they Igo did a School great job with those uh, boxes. They look wonderful, and there's one in the parade as well. Oh, I'm so excited! That's to the see. only one I haven't seen. I can't wait to see it. Oh yeah, that me too. Yeah. So 
The Igo School came through, Netta. I'm sorry. For, the Igo School did a float, and here come the extraordinary arts. Distracted. This is stilt walkers and jugglers and twirly people and sparklies, and I love it. Did you know that my favorite color was glitter? Yeah. So I love her entire outfit. I'm just going to tell you, I'm nimble enough to do that. I could do that. Yeah, 100% nimble enough. I was on a set. I was on a, a ladder about that high the other day. For a few Whoa. minutes. Whoa! Okay, did you see that she just did high kicking? Yeah, I, well, I did too. So here comes the elite dance, and here they will be able to, they're much more flexible than we are. So, well, that's an understatement for us. Well, but I did, it was look, a nice segue from high kicking shoes. to elite dance. I did do my gold shoes so that I could be part of the Sparkle team. Elite dance committed to education. They dance, uh, they provide dance education, promote oh, positive oh. character, building right confidence. Here. Look at this! Fabulous. They opened up in 2009 with their students performing all over New England and winning national titles. Elite has hosted teachers with a wide spectrum of knowledge in various styles of dance. And, and we are very fortunate to have so many of them here today. Uh, and Lindsay Denault, who is the head of Elite Dance, actually volunteers so much of her time for a number of the local um, plays in the schools yeah. and, uh, and works with um, programming at the Orpheum and has done work at the elementary schools, the Ahern, and the high school. So she's everywhere. It's been it's wonderful. Con continuing the message of That's the right. local support among businesses and volunteers That's here right. in town. And you're going to really see that. You're going to see that. Uh, interaction. Everybody's waving at one another. There's so much crossover, you know, as people are working together. Scott, thank, thank you, you so much for coming to see us. Nice to see you. We, we have tried. a great day. Happy Scott, Father's thanks, Day. Thanks for all you guys have done to put this together. It's really beautiful. been a pleasure. The team, we're, the team we're gonna, we will thank them we're all. We're going to hit them all. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll give They're them all a great. shout out. But we appreciate you taking the time to join us. This nice little gap here as we can catch up. because. We're <laughs> so that was that was Scott O'Donnell, committee chair for the Founders Day. But as he points out, uh, Monica Fissler, responsible as the parade coordinator. Yep. Um, Elizabeth Prevost, who's been doing a ton on That's social right. media That's right. uh, and website work. Uh, she's been on Instagram endlessly promoting out all, getting the real buzz going for Founders Day. Dave Fissler, Erin uh, Omemu, um, Kristen Gustafson, uh, Samantha Bailey. Let's stop right here and we'll come back oh, to them. this is personal best. This is personal best karate. Yeah. It's more than just karate. It is, and it's been there since 1991, honoring the growth and potential of members with self-defense, confidence, and goal-setting skills. Offering fitness for adults, men and women, fitness programs, self-defense seminars. Christopher Rapol, who is the founder and president of Personal Best, decided that they really wanted to empower the residents of Norton, East, and Foxborough and Raynham by teaching by teaching skills to children and adults the confidence and leadership that they needed in life. I just saw a friend of mine actually marching, so I'm sorry about breaking strip there. It's okay, you're um, allowed. Yeah, it's so great, but actually if you see, what I just read was actually really reflected in the parade members who just went by. You have tiny kids, like in strollers, wearing a personal breast karate shirt because they have programming for such young people, as well as adults who have been doing um, self-defense work and also, um, you know, fitness programming and others. And, so, and a really cool van. And so coming up behind them, is the 20th Mass Infantry. Oh, they're going to shoot something, aren't they? Civil War reenacting unit formed in 1998. It's participated in battle reenactments, living history encampments, parades, school presentations, and other patriotic events oh, I feel like from Maine to Virginia. They are a regiment steep in history. Oh, and they were known as the Harvard Res Regiment oh. because of its many officers, some of whom enlisted men were met graduates of Harvard University, including Oliver Wendell Holmes. So I I, I don't know. Is that a Sherman tank? That is not a Sherman tank. What honey. kind of tank is that? A, 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 that that is a um, that's I think a, like a, a mini a, tank. A, yeah. A little tank. It's not a Sherman tank. An II. Uh, but but we have two members here, entry here from the uh, U.S. Mass uh, Army um, Historical Society. There, that's what that, those folks are. Historical trucks. So I'm not need to US go Army. and look up what those are. We also have some committee members walking in the parade. And so what's really interesting too is making sure that the parade is spaced because it goes all the way around the, it goes down um, Mechanic, it goes down Railroad Ave, comes back around. I think this is the Waltham, Waltham American Legion Band. It's fabulous. Trying to read there. Yes it is, yes, that's it right. is. I've got patches and that's who it is. And again, 
waving, smiling, marching, and playing at the same time. Uh, it's, it's a One skill. Really Walking is. and chewing bubble gum. I can out. barely sit and talk at the same time, let's, let alone like march, wave, oh, and play. So many commentaries. But you're not going to so say many anything because you love me and it's a happy day. Because it's, it's a family show. It is a family show. show. Thank you for being here from Waltham. That's great. I, I, I wanted them to play. I, was, I, was ready. I know, I was hoping. So I'm, here comes the Cultural I'm Council. We'll catch the mariachis as they come so play. this is the part we've been waiting for all day. I'm so excited. I'm excited about all of the parts. Okay, now so, you sound like you're playing. All right, well, this, this I was looking forward to yes. because the Mass Cultural Council in Foxborough has actually given, there's a four foot statue of a fox that's gonna go on the field to display. This is one of the fox in the borough. There are five that are gonna be installed around Foxborough. And then we're going to have the members of the committee come and talk to us as they, Maybe. after they're walking. Okay. So this, the town council, the cultural council supports arts, poets, storytelling. And so the goal is to promote the arts within walk around town go and find the foxes on the map. And the event is a fundraiser that's gonna support future artistic projects. I hadn't seen that one, that one's awesome, that I one love is, it. This is the first time that that one has been seen. So there are a number of them right around the common and they're, they're Five in fantastic. Total. Yep. So, and just right behind them is Barunas Dental Family Health. Uh, they're located at 38 Mechanic. They joined the community in August of 2022 and they focus fa on family and cosmetic dentistry in a relaxed setting. This is their first Founders Day. And uh, we're oh, delighted to have them. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I hope we'll exactly. see them again. Me too. Me too. Um, the Boyden Library was in my slot here, but we've just seen them. No, they came early. They stuck in because they, they think did. they had horses. They pranced in earlier. So that means that this is the Mass Military Vehicle Collectors Club, which may tie to the two trucks I we see, saw earlier. I see. This looks like a car it says a cargo truck. It does. That looks and pretty impressive. So that is uh, That's that is high. clinically I think, significant. I don't think I can get I into agree. that. Well, that looks like a cargo get truck. You, we'll get you a step down. Yeah. Oh, thank you, honey. That's so thoughtful of you. I try, I try to help. I so try next to help. is going to, this is actually the um, youth baseball and softball per float. They are a combined program of the town baseball and softball program for boys and girls aged 5 to 19. Yep. They have a great flatbed truck here with their members and balloons and someone dressed up as, as a baseball, which is exciting. Lots of candy being thrown. Young players walking, tis the season for baseball. It's really great to see the next generation. I'm looking over to my right as our own sons who used to play baseball many, many years ago who are standing watching the next generation as they stand here as our retired, old Our men. retired switch hitting catcher, <laughs> yes. Switch hitting catchers. Everything is doing great. The parade is moving along beautifully. And that was one of the things too, is because you don't really know when you have multi-ages, you have smaller children. <laughs> they may they may not walk as quickly as a fire truck. <laughs> so pacing becomes one of the interesting things that happens on Founders Day that you right. that I mean, sort of is a is a game game time decision. And you can already tell like this this group is this group is just stretched out a little bit, which is great. Yeah, so it gives us time to chat. It does. <laughs> well, and so speaking of which, I just got a text from our daughter. Okay. Um, because Nyla and I drove around town the other night when the foxes all came out. Yep. Um, and were placed in there, you know, the four of them were placed in, in their particular places in front of Town Hall and uh, the Rodman Center and the library, um, and I'm forgetting, oh, at the Citizens, yep, uh, the Citizens, Citizens Bank. Bank. Yep. Uh, and so we were driving around, we couldn't find the fifth <laughs> one. And I was like, I know there's five, I yep. feel really stupid. Oh, did she just text you and say, there and it is? So I was like, maybe it's at the police department. So we went down <laughs> to McGinty. And I was like, maybe it's over at uh, the Memorial Hall. So I drove over here. Like I did the, like, the driving tour of Foxborough oh, to great. try to find Fox 5. <laughs> that's great. Wouldn't you know Fox 5's just on the back by. of a float? Yeah. It's so great. So that's all. She just texted me and went, found the fifth one. OK, perfect. So, so there it is. make sure you find uh, your foxes and, and get a, a photo of them. Each one of them is so creatively different um, that really they're, they're super special. The one at the library, just to, to gloat over that one a little bit. <laughs> it's um, your special sparkle fox? Well, it, so that's, that, that moonlight uh, sparkle fox actually is, um, the, the, the snowflakes actually glow in the dark. Oh, that's amazing. So that's pretty awesome. So next we have Church of Emmanuel, okay. and one of the things that they are um, advertising today is that they have a free kids camp from July 24th to 28th. And registration is open to any kids in the surrounding communities, grades K through five. 
So we welcome them, and we're happy to see them marching. That's the Wonder, the Wonder Kids it's Camp. called the Wonder Kids okay. Camp, yep. And they've got a, a great right. float here. I love those balloons. It's all sparkle. It's an amazing rocket. That's part of the Kids Camp. Look at that, replica rocket. And, oh, and, and we've got a spaceman oh, as a result. Man. Look at that. Wow, really nice. That's, what a great that is, friend. That they did a that really nice job. That is hot in that outfit today. They did a really nice job with that. So, so one of the things. Um, oh, look at the little, look at the little um, robot on the end. I love him. I, I'm gonna guess that this band coming up is the Roma band. I think you're right. Uh, so we'll take them in turn. Okay. But uh, I, I, I love that we got like you know a jazz swing band floating through. Here. This is pretty cool. So the Roma band musicians continue a long-standing tradition to provide crowd-pleasing Italian patriotic popular and sacred melodies since their band's inception in 1919 in the North End. Oh, this, this is the new Liberty oh, Jazz new Band. Liberty Jazz Band. I was going to say, that sounds awfully jazzy for <laughs> Italian. They but snuck in into a different no, I don't spot. Have that. Do you have that? I don't. Ah, well, that's... Okay. We're psyched to see them. We the so new Liberty I was Jazz like, wow, Band that sounds really jazzy. On tour. <laughs> he even got his piano on the back of the fire truck. It's awesome. Look at that. And they've though. been in the parade before, so we've seen them before. Right. Oh my goodness, here comes a massive, massive representation of the Foxborough Youth Lacrosse program. Foxborough Youth Lacrosse, very strong here in town. Strong Doing representation. A great job. Both <laughs> the, the their girls organizers and boys are trying programs, to, to get trying them to keep people moving. But <laughs> so that they don't just grab candy. Yep, well, <laughs> grab it's it, tough. give it, it's tough. There's these guys. There's a bunch of dads going, what the heck, we're out of candy. We've, I know, we've, I know, we, we've we're just halfway made the there. Turn. <laughs> Don't you remember that one year where we had we were in charge of candy, we had just run I into CVS? I spent $67 at, at CVS, CVS on last-minute candy. On last-minute candy, and, and it was like candy that nobody wanted because oh, every other group, let's go. nicely done, I got it. had Did already you see been that? through. You that caught it. That I caught a Kit Kat, it's one of my favorites, too. Magnif yeah, it's like now that you're not sharing your uh, strawberry shortcake, I'm sure. I needed one right teeny here. tiny piece some. of Kit Kat. I only slightly Oh, uh, but see, they're pros. The Radio Flyer Wagon, I tell, I kid you not, is the key component of a successful Founders Day. If you have a wagon that can pull not only your tired children, but can, most importantly can hold water and candy. And then you also have to know the great trajectory of candy. Like Jolly Ranchers actually fly really well. You don't want to ever <laughs> throw anything like Hershey Kisses because they melt and they donk off your head. Donk. But a Jolly Rancher is Clinical amazing. Word. Now, a lot of people will throw lollipops, which sound like great, but again, they're now like hurtling these like sticks at you. <laughs> so you have to watch your eyes. We got the so, cla classic cars coming through now. I think this is the Mike Cataldo group. And we have uh, Marla Doan with her oh, 2019 Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And look, at, and look at the Amazing. lashes yep. on the love Absolute bug. The love I bug. love it. Perfect. Love bug. Great stuff. Fabulous. And Doug King. Doug contractor King Builders. Here with his, and with uh, Shovel Town. This is Shovel Town. Shovel Town Brewery. So Shovel Town Brewery in Northeastern has opened up the uh, Station One facility here at the Common. The Rotary, so it's a great little restaurant and yeah. brew pub there for folks to enjoy right across the street from the Marilyn Rodman Performing That's Arts great. Center. We're so delighted to have them in town too. Yep, 100%. And to be in the parade, like what is that? What a great community addition, right? So they've been in town for one year. One year, and here and, they are. And here they yep. are. First and, a lot, and a lot of people took a long time waiting, going, when is that going to be open? Now it is. Here's, Here's your Roma band. There it is. <laughs> so as I was saying, the Roma band musicians continue a long-standing tradition to provide crowd-pleasing Italian, patriotic, popular, yes. and sacred melodies. Since the band's inception in 1919 in the north end of Boston, they're made up of professional Mumbo musicians. Italiano. Oh, I'm trying not to sing, but you got it. The members love to share their music out in the community. They perform at religious ceremonies, feasts, local parades, fundraisers, and private events. And they're awesome. Oh, That's private great. events? I want them for my birthday, Kev. We'll see what we can do. Yay, that was Bravo. awesome. What do you think? Ancora. Ancora. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Who's coming now? This, uh, is this the might why. be the why. I think we're back on schedule. Back on schedule. All right. Hockamock YMCA doing so much in our community and here today representing the Senior Olympics and the 2023 uh, Special Olympics medal winners. That's great. That's uh, great. Really great. 
great community How are you, uh, everyone? Partner. Yep, they're, they're really excited to be on camera and know that it's lots of happy waves there from the, from the representatives of the Y and members and friends. Everyone is coming Kat through. Catherine Newton of the Founders Day Here Committee we come. coming Reflections by. Reflections Dance Academy yep. is coming through. Dynamite. Foxborough based dance studio for oh. all ages, 18 months to adults. They have their second recital from Maryland, the, uh, the Broadman Art Center, and they're gearing up for their nationals at the competition, nationals competition at the end of June. Impressive. So you can, they're going to be performing at the booth field later, so okay. make sure so we get look on at down them. There and see them. Yeah. But again, wide age ranges. You're seeing all of these community sponsors, the wide age ranges. And walking in and entering, you know, get great. Introducing in with the youth movement of the future, here we have the Foxborough Lady Warriors varsity basketball state champion team led by Lisa Downs. The Warriors uh, are Division II state basketball champs. And today in the parade, we have Cam Collins and Maddie Mayer as captains, Izzy Chamberlain, Michelle Brandt, uh, Kaylee Sullivan, Mackenzie Burton, Erin Foley, Adriana Perrazzo. Keegan McGuire, Kylie Sampson, Camilla Burton, Ava Hill, Addie Reuter, Reese Hassman, and the coaching staff as well. Nice job to them on a great job well done this year during their basketball season. And right behind him, it wouldn't be a Foxborough event <laughs> without right. A.J. Dooley. That's right. And here he is, Clean cleanest bins. So great. If you, if you don't know who he is, you're not watching ESPN at night during uh, sports games when Cedric Maxwell takes his, be his bins out to be cleaned by <laughs> A.J. Right. Dooley. And look, there's Oscar the Grouch on the top there. We've got lots of friends that we know over there yep. throwing. So I was like, we can't eat the tinsel. Oh, now here comes the float oh. everyone has been waiting for. The, the secret is the now secret, released. The secret the fans splattery of Founder float. Day. <laughs> what started out as helping chair the BIT float has morphed into an annual insanity it is. from the minds of the Slattery siblings. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Slattery. Oh, my goodness. We're, gonna, we're about to get, we're, we're about to get a Slattery, torched. Jarvis, <laughs> Cuniff, and Griffin oh families put to use their unique, unique set of skills to bring these. joy to the hearts and minds of Foxborough. I love it. So this year's Jurassic Park, last year, you may remember, was Ghostbusters, That's right. complete with uh, oh an gosh, ectomobile. Look, there's a teeny tiny baby Yeah, dinosaur. a little copy. And you know what their, their tagline is? No theme, no problem. Well, and thank you for saying that, because there was no theme this year. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> there was no theme this and, year. And look, they've even got they've even got the park yep, rangers. They, they Richard have Attenborough everybody. is Richard walking Attenborough. through here. Very it's impressive. Very, very <laughs> impressive. I think I'm not sure who has the more fun, the the, the grown-ups who are participating or the kids oh, when I it think, comes to that. I think you know. I We're, just saw Big Jim Slattery manning a uh, like a what, confetti, a confetti cannon. cannon exactly. Yeah. Here comes CrossFit Torque. They are a health and fitness center focusing on nutrition and movement. They have been on route in Foxborough for 11 years and they offer group adult classes, forever fit programs for teens, kids, and sessions with personal trainings. I'm seeing a theme here, Kevin. I feel like it's the one thing we're not it, participating in. We're participating in the food and the candy and then all this fitness stuff. We have not had a single fitness visitor. So no, we, we don't might, believe in it. We might need to readdress that. Bill Tite is coming through with Senator Paul Feeney and his float as they come. Senator Feeney, um, obviously our senator, very active in our community, a <laughs> resident of Foxborough. Okay, oh, and, turn, 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 turn. And we are very lucky to have them spending <laughs> time with us here today. Oh, he's singing. <laughs> he's singing. This is the, this is the Foxborough oh version I, of <laughs> John Denver. Something else. I so tell he, did, he was an amateur DJ, wasn't he? Also, it, he for was, years. Yeah. And, center, and here rounding comes the out our group, that's center. Elvis right Hi, there. Our friends, Here's our friends, friends from at the, the senior, senior center. center. Many, many community members here with the Van Gogh as well. Age uh, is only a number. Age is only a number. Exactly. Happy Founders Day, everybody. Age is only a number. Here they comes remind the Van Gogh, us. which every time I'm behind it, I laugh well, because it's so great. As I it love goes, the pun. As it as it goes and along. And the Senior Olympics. Now it's the Van well Went. Well done. Congratulations. There it is. The Van Went. There it that is. is. Very Thank funny. you. Thank you. And. and I can't believe it, but just end. like that. How is, I'm just getting started, Kev. I, believe me, I know. It's, this is the conclusion of 
this year's Founders Day Parade. That They're was gonna so roll awesome. right around us. They are. We'll just pivot the cameras I know, and get them all just, in the other we, direction. Actually, what's really nice, right? If you just pivot 90 degrees, but, you can see it all again. But they promise you right on schedule, That's right? That's right. So the parade today from 10 to 11, here we are. That's right. They're down on the booth playground from <laughs> 11 to 2.30, there will be music by DJ Paul and okay. the Gem City Music. Alrighty. And then field festivities will happen down there from 11 to 3. You had already mentioned it's the single biggest nonprofit fundraiser That's of the right. year. That's right. As we have an opportunity for nonprofit organizations to provide food, games, raffles, crafts, and yep. anything else, multi-class reunions, That's right. And you, can, right, you can see the crowd shift. It's amazing. And, and this happens every year, right? So everyone literally just turned 90 degrees and is heading to the booth. Oh, yeah. Because the whole town actually knows what this day is about. Well, they also know it's that they're out of candy work. by the time they make well, the Well, and there's, there, they're so hungry. And, the, and everyone yeah. knows that at this point, when you have to line up so early that you're ready for snacks now. That's, so, well, that's why I get the, um, the, the, the strawberry shortcake ahead of time, delivered ahead I of time. I, I don't have to wait in line. So that you're not I, super hungry yet. But, but look, can we just talk for a minute about yes. some of the what, what's down on the field? Sure. Right? So we have organizations like the Bethany Congregational Church, who was so generous to come up and drop that off. Thank you again, Pam, with their strawberry shortcake. Uh, the Alzheimer's Association is down there. Uh, the Vincent Igo PTO is down there with a bungee run. Oh, I lost that one here. That was very <laughs> ugly. Um, snow cones and face painting. That's good for you. The Fox World Lady Ho Hoopsters have a dunk tank with a raffle going on and down there. And you want to know something about that, too, that's really Tell funny. You can buy tickets for the balls. You can also spend extra just to push the buttons, which oh, I thought really? was really great. Yep. Oh, that's Is fabulous. that fun? I would definitely do that. The Fox World Historical Society, the yep. Norfolk Sheriff's Office, the Friends of Boyden Library. Always down there. Fox right? Music Association. With Dell's Lemonade. Oh, they, they brought us that last year. We did year. get we'll that last a, year. Uh, yeah, I, in a, I guess it wasn't hot enough for us to get that this year. I don't know. Um, Fox, so Foxborough Youth Baseball and Softball are down there with raffle baskets. Uh, Troops 32 is down there with their fried potatoes, as we were talking yep, about yep. during the parade. I love those. Church of Emmanuel has uh, blow-up activities and, and ice cream. I don't oh, know nice. how they're going to manage that. Close to Mac Jones. Um, Department of Children and Families Foster Care Recruitment is down there. Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Rotary Club, the JCs. Um, they, so they both have the Rotary Club and the JCs both have concessions okay. that they do, hot dogs or burgers and and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, the health department, the Foxborough High School DECA, which is um, a business organization that is run out of the high school. Foxborough Cable Access, very come own and cable visit access. us, come and volunteer with us. You too can be on TV if you'd like, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, Knights of Columbus, the Town Democratic uh, Committee, the Foxborough Counts Cultural Council. Veteran with the, services. With, their, with, the, with Fox number five. That's right. Fox Maybe number five. Go see Fox number five. Comfy Absolutely. Kids, St. Albans Lodge. The Han, the Han and Family Farm will be taking photos with llamas. Oh, I'm going to have a photo with get a yourself, llama. Get yourself a llama photo. Yeah, and a three-month-old lamb. Okay, okay, I need to go get a llama photo. Okay. And Turning Point Recovery Support Center, uh, Grace Chapel will be there with inflatables and games and concessions. Okay. The Foxborough Community Farm Stand will be down there. Maryland Rodman Center will be down there. The 2023 Foxborough Cooperstown team, they're going cool. out to Cooperstown to nice. play ball this summer. They'll be down there with 50-50 and ba basket raffles. And uh, we saw them come through earlier, but the New England Antique Tractor and Truck Association will be there displaying tractors, trucks, and more. Uh, and there are more organizations down there as well. Those are just the ones that we've been given the list for. That's amazing. And uh, they'll be the the fire the Foxborough Fire Department does a presentation. Right. The doll and doll carriage and wagon parade is right. from twelve to one. There's a street hockey tournament, music tonight, and fireworks at nine fifteen. Fireworks at nine fifteen. And I feel like after a day that is filled with amazing activities and community involvement and participation. They'll be napping. I think it's time to go get a snack. Kids. Oh, oh, well, that's that sounds like a great idea. I want to, before we leave, and I know okay. we're going to leave because <laughs> we have other things to do, I just want to give a major shout out to the rest of the um, Founders Day Committee because we stopped about halfway through. So, again, acknowledging Alex Knight, Janice Rosado, Kerry Rosado, Kathy Brady, Patty Prevost, Maggie McCulloch, Bob Seitman, Kevin Powers, Frank Sturm, Rita Giovino, Rick Haddad, Luis McCulloch, and Steve Uden, along with the names I'd already said, which were Scott O'Donnell, Monica Fissler, Elizabeth Prevost, Dave Fissler, Aaron Omemu, uh, Kristen Gustafson, Samantha Bailey, and I think I started with Alex Knight. So Perfect. Come all the way I just around. wanted to make sure they were all in the same I thank you spot. Thank you for thanking them <laughs> for thanking me. Um, so listen, uh, 
no theme this year. There is an award. Okay. It's called Best in Beat. Oh, that's great. So the judges, wherever they are hiding, okay. we're judgee, but we're not the judges, mm. um, will get to decide who those winners are. And we wish all of our parade um, contestants and participants all the best of luck. This was super fun. It was so great. I mean, it always is, but doing this was really, really super fun. So um, I agree with you. Let's go get down to the booth. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Strawberry Thanks. Shortcake's on Paul Beck. I All just right. heard it. Thank so, you, everyone, for uh, joining us. So happy, thank you to Fox for Cable day. Access. Thank you for the Founders Day Committee. Enjoy this great day, That's right. and we appreciate the time to be with you. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Stay Bye. well.